Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you made a great morning this morning. It's a coffee kind of morning as well. Hope everyone's doing well. Love you all. Um, I might have to stop watching Chris Profi's videos. Um, he promotes everything he, he shows so well. I just need them in my collection. He's encouraged me to start my Iron Maiden collection um, through his Dislike series on one album in particular, X Factor, which I haven't got yet, but I'm obsessed by them now. My collection is growing. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. As well as this Dislike series on um, St. Anger. Metallica's St. Anger, which I just received yesterday. I've listened to it a couple times on uh, Spotify, but uh, I'm loving it so far. Um, there's the vinyl there. Beautiful vinyl. Um, beautiful artwork. It's a double album. Uh, it's got... Uh, where is it here? Oh, yes. Got an inner sleeve with lyrics. Okay. Again, beautiful artwork in here. Um, an amazing album. And I'm going to talk about that right now after I stop my rant about Chris Pro. <laughs> um, it's a good thing I, that uh, I had the Led Zeppelin album that he was talking about in my collection, or I'd have to have that too. Uh, you've definitely enhanced my collection, Chris. Thank you so much. Uh, but you've made me spend a hell of a lot of money. So I've got one question for you. Uh, do you have e-transfer? Because I'm going to start sending you the bills for my, for these albums that I'm buying. I'm just kidding, Chris. I love you so much. Uh, getting back to Metallica, Metallica and this fine album, St. Anger. Who, by the way, has got some remarkable artwork on it, for sure. Um, 2003 release, their eighth studio album, uh, the last on Elektra, and the last to be produced by Bob Rock. Um, they worked with him since, I guess, 1990. Um, but, uh, I'm not sure about Bob Rock. Uh, he produced one of my favorite Canadian bands, uh, The Tragically Hip. And for years, up until that particular album that he worked on, they always worked as a collaborated team. Um, everyone brought ideas in. They'd start riffs together. They'd come up with different lyrics and would just work on songs all together as a team. Well, Bob Rock isolated the lead singer, Gord Downey, and kind of put the rest of the band in the background as kind of just uh, session players, uh, hardly singing any backup tracks. Uh, Bob Rock would play a lot of the instruments, uh, just really took over, and uh, it almost broke up the band. They were very disgruntled uh, with, what, with what was happening. And uh, um, so he apologized later in the documentary on how he messed up with that. Uh, but uh, so kind of as much as the great job he's done with anything that he's produced, uh, it kind of put a bad feeling in my in my uh, mouth about him. And... Um, especially with this band, this this amazing Canadian band that if you don't know the Tragically Hip, check these guys out. Anyway, I digress. Getting back to St. Anger. Uh, the band's only album is a trio. Uh, bassist Jason Newstead had left the band, so Bob Rock played all the bass parts in it. Uh, Robert uh, Trujillo uh, joined the band after the album was released and actually was credited, which was big on the band, to credited with uh, in the album. And he's also featured... Uh, there we go here, featured uh, with the band, which was, again, big on the band. That's how um, much they liked him. Um, four singles off the album, the title track, St. Anger, Frantic, The Unnamed Feeling, Some Kind of Monster. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, they made a documentary based on the album called Some Kind of Monster. Uh, James Hetfield was uh, going through... Um, Rehab, dealing with all the monsters inside and the demons inside. Uh, the production is raw. The drums <laughs> sound pretty metallic. I'm not liking the drums on this one. 
um, drumming can enhance a song. It's kind of distracting in some of the songs. It just sounds like a tin can. Again, only a couple of listens. Um, I actually haven't heard the vinyl yet. Maybe it'll be less on the vinyl. I'm not sure. <coughs> Pardon me. But um, not many guitar solos in it either. The critics are kind of split. Some like it, some don't. Um, Chris loves it, so I probably will too. <laughs> Thanks, Kay and Chris. Um, despite all that, the Grammy won an, uh, uh, sorry, the album won a Grammy um, and went double platinum. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, anything else I have on Metallica? I think it's six or eight albums on Metallica. I have on CD. So this is the first vinyl I have of these guys. Um, whether I'll start to switch over, I'm not 100% sure. You don't see many in the wild, so um, again, Chris, thank you for spending, making me spend all kinds of money. <laughs> anyway, love you all. Talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye now.